Hello, everyone. In this video, we'll look at how to create an alert on Dialog. With an alert, you can create a search strategy, and then, going forward, Dialog will rerun the search for you on a regular schedule of your choice and send you the new results by email. It's a great way to monitor new information on any topic easily and automatically. Searchers can and do run alerts on all kinds of subjects and in any of the dialogue databases. But one of the most important uses of a dialogue alert is for medical literature monitoring, so that a pharmaceutical or medical device company can promptly get new reports of any adverse effects for compliance with regulations and to protect patient safety. So we'll use an adverse effects search as our example to walk you through the few simple steps of creating an alert on Dialog. So let's get started. Here is the strategy that we created using the three databases, Medline, Embase, and Biosis Previews. And for this demonstration, we'll create an alert in all three databases. In our manual search, we were looking for adverse effects of the drug Digitalis, and we began by using the thesauri to create sets in Embase and Medline. Then we ran a term search that would work across all three databases, and we ORed together all three of those sets to get our combined results. That search got us everything we wanted that was available through that date, and now the easiest way to stay aware of new records going forward will be to create an alert based on that search. Now, before we create the alert, I want to add one more search statement to limit the date range of how far back the records were either first available on the Dialog platform or first created by the database publishers in order to minimize the number of older revised documents that the alert retrieves. You can choose to limit by any time period, but one year is a good rule of thumb, and that's what we'll recommend. The search field for first available date is FAV, and the data creation field is DCRE, and let's say we're creating this alert on November 30th, 2020. I'll start with my last search set number and type S4 and FAV, comma, DCRE, open parentheses, greater than, using the greater than symbol, 2019, 1130, close parentheses. And when I create that set, that is going to be the set that we run our alert against. The dialog interface has multiple links to create an alert. For example, I can go to my results list and click on this link that says create alert. Or where I see my list of sets here in advanced search, I can go to my final set. And on the right side where it says actions, I can hover my cursor and get a little pop-up display with several options, including Create Alert. And when I click on Create Alert, this takes me to the alert's creation process. Here, I'll give the alert a name. I'll call it Digitalis. For delivery method, I'll leave it at email. If you don't already see your email address filled in and checked off, or if you want to add another address for the alert to be sent to, just add it to Subscribers. The subject box is for the subject header that you'll see in the emails when the alerts get delivered to you. So you'll probably want to change this to the name of the alert. For email format, I'll leave it at the default HTML. In this section, you can decide how often you want to get your alert delivered. I'm going to leave this at weekly. You can also choose the day of the week and the time of day that you want to get the alerts sent to you. I'm going to say I want them on Monday mornings in the very early hours, so I'll have them when I arrive at work for the week. You can choose to have the alert stop running after a period of time if you want to. Each run of the alert will look back 60 to 90 days, but I'm going to set it to newly added documents including historical items which means I'm going to get records that are new to Dialog and new to my alert, regardless of the original publication date. This is important for medical literature monitoring because, for example, 
Sometimes articles from foreign journals may take longer than 60 to 90 days from publication before they appear in any database. For delivery format, I want to get my results as an attachment to the email, so I'll want to choose either RTF or PDF. I'll go with PDF. Display format here offers choices similar to what I'd have for downloading my records after a manual search. I'm going to choose Citation Abstract. You could even create a custom format if you want to. Maximum number of documents by default is 4,000, but you might want it to be smaller. This option says send alert as scheduled even when no documents match my search. And I'm going to check that box because even if my alert gets no hits in a given week, I'd still like to get an email telling me that so I'll know that the alert has run. Include search details means you want your results to come in a report that shows you the search strategy up at the top every week. I'd like to have that, so I'm going to say yes. And now all I have to do is click Save. Then enter my name and a comment. Click Save and Continue, and I'm done. Going forward, I will get my alert results by email every week on the day and in the time slot that I chose. Our alert is all set up. So that's it. We've created a strategy, in this case to find any new records about adverse effects of a drug, and we set up an alert that will keep us aware of any new records on this subject automatically. And in the next video, we'll offer a brief introduction to the drug safety triager. For more information, here are some links to additional resources, and if you have any questions or you'd like some help, please feel free to call the help desk at these numbers or email us at customer at dialogue.com. Thanks for using Dialogue and enjoy the rest of your day.